Hey guys, Larry from Leave Me Electric. I wanted to show you our uh, wind switching system um, that we've just come out with. And what it does is uh, it switches from the 10 to 30 250 watt grid tide inverter to a 1000 watt 22 to 60 volt grid tide inverter. And as you can see right now, the red light is on. That means it's in the higher voltage inverter, which is this guy right here. Okay. And the purpose is to make your turbine collect wind energy from 4 miles an hour up to, you know, 35 miles an hour. Uh, a lot of times when you're stuck in the wind situation where it's 8, 9 miles an hour, you have a 22 to 60 volt inverter and you can't make any power out of it. Well, this system here covers from 4 to 35 mile an hour winds. And the higher the uh, voltage, the lower the amperage. So your system's actually going to run cooler and more efficient. So what we have going on here is on the bottom we have a DC meter. On the top we have an AC meter showing all your data. All right, and the system currently, the light went out, so it's now in the 10 to 30 volt inverter. And you can see the power I'm pulling out of it. Wind switch uh, switches at 10 miles an hour. That's when the red light goes on, and we're back into the, te uh, the 22 to 60 volt, 1,000 watt inverter. So as the wind speeds increase, uh, we will allow the voltage to go up and the amperage drop and go into a bigger inverter. And this keeps repeating itself depending on the wind speed. So you've got a great array of power to collect, rather than just being stuck with one inverter. If you're using two inverters, uh, they load the turbine down so much, it requires so many amps that the turbine can never run efficiently and get the full power out of it unless you've got 50-mile-an-hour winds. So this covers the whole array of wattages, again, from 4 to 35 miles an hour. I don't recommend running your turbine over 40 miles an hour anyway because, as you know, it can be a lot of problems. Uh, so I'm letting you watch the numbers here, but I wanted to talk about this, the system itself. And what it um, includes is... You also get a duplex outlet on the side here. You can put a uh, little kilowatt meter here if you want. It has two outlets to plug your grid tide inverters in. It's a fully hardwired system. So you just need a uh, DC rectifier, hook your DC to this system. It has uh, two outputs, one for each inverter, so two positive, two negatives. And it also needs a 12-volt constant to work. So whether it's off a battery or um, any other kind of means of 12-volt, because the guts inside, the electronics need 12 volt all the time to read all what's going on. Okay, and it also has a shutoff AC switch. And all your connections are right here in this little box. And again, it's just a positive and negative from the DC off the rectifier. Uh, positive and negative to one inverter, and positive and negative to the other inverter. And you plug in your grid tight inverters over there. And you run your 120 volts off your uh, main electrical panel uh, with a 20 amp circuit breaker. So this is all hardwired. All right, and again, it's controlled by a wind switch. The wind switch uh, switches at 10 miles an hour. It does have a delay in it. So, you know, I mean, the winds are crazy right now. So they're, the electronics can't always keep up exactly with the winds. You guys, uh, I'm sure you know that by now, even with the meters. Um, stuff happens so quick. Wind can go from, you know, 20 to 50 miles an hour in three seconds. So uh, it's tough for these meters and stuff to keep up. However, um, nothing's blowing up. Nothing's frying. I don't have an overvolt problem, and I'll get to that in a minute of our dump load system we have for this. But um, it's all an ABS plastic. It's very lightweight. The box is about four inches deep, three inches deep, something like that. And um, it does a great job. It makes your turbine run so much more efficient. Now, the turbine hook to this is HYE, or high energy, 1,000-watt, uh, 24-volt rated wind turbine, by wind or wind max. I'm sure you guys heard of them. Um, this is the best turbine I can find that runs on this system, a 24-volt rated turbine. Uh, I'm not too sure if any of the car alternator-type turbines will work with this. Uh, I'm sure it will. It's just the inverters that uh, we're using here, the Chinese Sunji inverters. Um, I don't know if they'll work too well with them kind of alternators, but you can try it if you want. However, uh, this system here, again, switches to 10 miles an hour. It's good for up to 100 volts um, DC, and it's good for up to 100 amps DC. Uh, inside, though, however, because we're grid tied, I only wired it for 30 uh, amps. Because by the time you get up to 50 uh, volts at 30 amps, that's 1500 watts. And this turbine can only do uh, at the most 1500 watts. So it's going to be very hard to max out that wiring. And it's all uh, stranded single conductor wire. All right, so uh, I believe it's, um, it's like welding wire. You know, it's very um, flexible. But that's it. Uh, real basic. And, um, you know, there's not a lot of uh, working parts. There's a relay inside. There's a little SSR inside. The SSR just changes the mechanical relay. It doesn't actually change the power uh, to, the, to the inverter. And what you do is you hook up your dump load to the 22 to 60. 
So if the power goes down or you're dumping, the 22 to 60 will, will dump the load. Okay, and that's one of these resistors here. You probably see them on eBay. Um, however, I have a redundancy system for this guy, and that's over here. That's another box. It's got a voltmeter on it, same voltage as the DC down there. And what this does is this guy is hooked off the AC side of the um, turbine, and it comes down to a three-phase rectifier. I mean, three-phase SSR, 40 amp, and then that goes to a rectifier, and then that goes to that dump load. And the reason I do that is because it's easier to um, dump the load on the AC side control than it is the DC side. Um, doing it this way doesn't affect any electronics on the DC side. It doesn't. It just doesn't hurt. It's so much easier to do it on the AC side. So what you do is you parallel our dump load system off the same rectifier. And this, this dump load system can be set anywhere between 0 and 90 volts. There is a voltage uh, switch inside there. It can take up to uh, 90 volts. We have another one that can take up to 200 as well. So that's why this needs 12 volts to work as well. That voltage reader has to have 12 volts to read everything. So it can take up to 90 volts uh, of input DC power from the turbine. All right. And again, this is set at 55. So again, it just went on. There it is. And that thing gets cooking, by the way. So right now it dumped, all right, and it has a delay on it, and I have the delay set to calm the turbine down. Now, if there's so much power being made, it'll just work in conjunction with the turbine like it just did. Still getting 300 some watts. So it didn't, it didn't kill the turbine and slam it down. It worked with it in conjunction, and that's exactly what you want. You don't want it to slam down. There's 500, there's 552. So, again, I can't say enough about the 1,000-watt uh, HYE wind turbines. I've been using them for five years, and I have had one damn problem with them. And I just took it to the next level by trying to extract more power. I, you know, I live in a suburban area. I have trees around, houses around. I want to try to get the most out of women as I could. Um, so this here is, works great. It's fantastic. And we are dumping again. And we're still working in conjunction with the turbine. We are not starving it of power. All right, so let me your thoughts. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And if you need any more information, contact me. I'm Larry from Weeby Electric. I'm um, selling these on eBay. This system in particular here is uh, about 275 It's custom built. Um, you know, it's all built in my shop by me. Uh, we don't have, uh, you know, any uh, people making these things in a fancy shop. It's just me and my shop, my electronic shop, and uh, build them one at a time. And um, there's a lot of people getting them, and they're working out great. Uh, but I highly recommend the HY 1024-volt wind turbine um, out there. Uh, Skymax is another one. Uh, same same turbine, just a different name. They're all made by HY uh, Energy that you can use for the system, and they work fantastic. All right, all right, guys. Thanks a lot, and I uh, appreciate your comments. Take care.